What's up, guys? It's Max and Harvey. We're hanging out with Rob from Front Row Live. Stay tuned for more, Karen. Who's Karen? <laughs> you guys are in LA right now promoting the new single, Electric. Yeah. I don't know. Where are we at right now? We're promoting Electric. Electric is, <laughs> we, yeah, we did it with Jaden Bartels. It's really awesome. We spent a load of time on it. Uh, you can go check out the YouTube video and the song on Spotify and YouTube, obviously. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty rad. Man, pretty you've been rad. practicing that one. Yeah, I have. Not, yeah, I have. <laughs> said nothing. <laughs> I know. What's going on, Harvey? Thank you. So, so talk to me about this collaboration. How did you guys kind of team up with Jaden in the first place? And what was that experience like for you guys? Um, <laughs> honestly, honestly, she just like attacked us in the middle of the streets. We'd never met her before. Um, she just kind of went, sing this song with me. And so we were like, yeah, okay. That seems pretty spent reasonable. 12 years writing it. Yeah. 12 years. <sighs> Even though she was the one in my story that asked us to sing it with her. She asked. <laughs> she uh, yeah. So we spent, spent twelve years writing it, and then she stole it from us, and then came up to us in the streets and forced us to sing it with her. That's the story. That's yeah. Intense. yeah, it's a, it's pretty intense. <laughs> and then we we produced it. Sounded rad, um, and yeah, it, it went from there. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a song. It's a hit. I feel like it's a hit, though. I, I hope so. I mean, uh, this is what the general public decides, I guess. 12 years on it for nothing. Right? It better be a hit. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, take me into the studio, though, when you guys were recording it. Like, uh, what did you guys do differently on this track that you did before? I actually have a serious answer for this. Um, so we actually recorded it in London okay. uh, with a different um, producer. And then Jaden recorded it out here mm -hmm. with a different producer as well. And then they got put together by one person. Um, and then pretty much, I think we both got sent the first master. Mm. We chose what we wanted to be different about it. She chose what she wanted to be different about it. And then it just was like a, ba it was really weird because we were never with each other for the actual recording process. Wow. And then we filmed the video together. And that's how you produce kids. <laughs> just make it up. They're never in the same <laughs> studio. Was that, was, that the, <laughs> was that the first time for you guys to do, to do a track with, with someone else that's not really in the room with you guys? We've never done a track with anyone else. So this is the first time ever you guys get really, to do a feature. Yeah, it was a really interesting experience, um, especially not being with the person while right. we were recording it. Obviously, we, we'd have talked about it in person before. Right. Um, but yeah, we didn't record it together, so it was interesting. Did she have any like um, any say on the writing process as well, or no, was she it? She had no say. We didn't know. <laughs> of course, she did. Uh, yeah, no, Jaden. So uh, we actually don't know exactly what she did because we weren't in the same studio. But I'm assuming she made it her own, and uh, the same that we did. We sort of changed a couple of lyrics to what we wanted it to sound like, and yeah, it just sort of worked out because it sounds like e each part that we all sing sounds like us individually and what we'd want to sing and how we want to sound. Now it's cool because uh, this is a new single, new track. Um, you guys released an EP not that long ago. So, yeah. what what made you guys want to like jump, you know, and go ahead and do a new thing, a new piece of music? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll this one. Yeah, go on. Then. Shh. Um, yeah, so we we uh, we had a little break between obviously the first EP, let that kind of sink in, mm. um, because we had our GCSEs, which in America is like I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's like your last year of tests. Okay. Um, we do that for some reason two years earlier than you guys. I don't wow. know why. But then we ha we still are in legal schooling after that for a different thing. Um, but yeah, so we we decided that after finishing school, we wanted to do another song. Um, and we will hopefully be making loads more music in the future as well. Um, but yeah, we, we just kind of thought that why don't we first come back with something completely different that's not just another single with yeah. an actual other artist as well. That would be slightly more... Exciting, I guess, <laughs> really, than just another single, like right. the last EP. So yeah, that was definitely fun. So how do you, f how do you guys feel this was different from your previous work? Um, well, mainly because we did it with someone else, obviously. Mm. Uh, we've never done that before. Um, and I think just sort of having another voice to sort of, because we've never, you can't really, com yeah, Contrast. you can't really compare your voice to anyone else's until it's really on the same track, right. because it's been, it's eventually been produced by the same person, and so it's quite cool to see the contrast in all of our voices together. And when we're all singing at the same time, uh, Studio Magic does that. Sorry, I smacked your mic. That probably made an awful sound. Um, yeah, it's an just an awful sound. An awful sound. You said an awful sound. 
Watch Shh, it back. Play, play that back. <laughs> Shut up, Harvey. I've had enough of you. Like another level. I've had enough of you today. I'll get my sloth ball this back. Like Beat your head in. No, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll bash your head in with sloth, man. <laughs> See, you, you, you have so much to say, but once the mic is on you, you get shy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't actually lick the mic, that's really unsanitary. <laughs> lick the mic. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know where this interview's going afterwards. <laughs> so, you know, now that you guys tried something different with this song, like, where is your mindset as you guys are thinking new material, like you mentioned earlier? Um, we're really excited to still explore with loads of different types of music. I think mainly because we still haven't, we know roughly what our sound is, but we want to, like, really nail it now. Okay, like, not. Go. <laughs> They're always on a mad one when he speaks. He's just like, um, <laughs> like that. I don't think I've ever said that. <laughs> Something like that. That's what I hear when you speak. <laughs> just <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Well, anyway, like I was saying before, we just want to kind of really hit the nail on the head or whatever that saying is um <laughs> and yeah i think a lot of experimenting will need to be done with that and also seeing what our fans like to hear the, the most as well because i think if we get the perfect balance of what we like to make and what they like to hear that's then what will work right. <laughs> which is really logical and i didn't even have to say that but there you go <laughs> Have you guys performed the song at all, like, together? Yeah, actually, yeah. Fu funny you say that. We have done the song, we did it in our tour, so Jaden came over to the UK um, to do half of the tour mm -hmm. that we did in the UK, but then we went to Europe and Jaden was unable to join us for that, so we actually sung Electric on our own. Uh, so we basically just split her parts, I sung half of her yeah. first verse and he sung the, the other half and, and the chorus, whatever. and we just kind of <laughs> did it like that. We, we obviously still said, this is our song with Jaden, right. unfortunately she can't be here. Um, but yeah, we have been singing it on our own as well, just because we. I think people still want to hear it anyway. Yeah. And I think it's obviously good to That's let people. Most, most artists do. Yeah. You know, you, you don't. Well, with Ed Sheeran's new album, you don't see him rocking up at everyone's <laughs> oh, no, shows no, no, no. to sing the one sh to sing the one song. Now I'm curious, how how'd you hit those high notes? Which ones? <laughs> All of them. Um, I'm just trying to go through the song you now. Don't do any I don't think I. In that one, no. You don't well, do no, any from from her part. Oh, her, oh. So hers is actually quite similar to yeah. our bits because um, we actually do sing quite high mm -hmm. for that song. Um, so yeah, our, and I'm guessing she sings quite low. I'm not exactly sure what Jaden's register is, but I think it's lower in her register what she sings for the song. Um, yeah, so we just sort of met in the middle, but I think Harvey and I had to stretch a little bit to get higher for yeah. the song, um, but it wasn't too difficult. I mean, we've been, uh, we just sort of like trained our voices to keep doing that from when they changed when we were younger to older. So we can still hit those notes just um, when we get lucky. As far as different registers, while well, you guys are still trying to figure out your, like you are testing out the sound um, of Max and Harvey, like how does the register kind of change between each song? Well, we, we do a lot of um, kind of, well, not intensive, but we, we actually went for a physio session for our larynxes, uh -huh. which basically, because we've been singing pretty much our whole lives. Yeah, so I that also- he's on his phone too much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we um, we basically have been singing all our lives and that has helped with um, our voices have never actually broken. They've just got lower gradually. Yeah. So we can still sing quite high. And I think that helps because we've been you singing for so long. in that statement, by the way. <laughs> they have broken, there just wasn't a clear break. That's what, no, that's that what, it's that's physically so impossible for a voice not to eventually break. break. That's the loudest whisper I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to <laughs> subtly tell him he was wrong. No, no, but, no, I was right. They just gradually went lower. They didn't actually go... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't ever really go through it. There, we've had a couple of... In interviews, I'm sure they've in they've the, been in a couple the same of. Way that everyone does even now. People have but voice ours breaks. That bad, like yeah. it wasn't that obvious when ours broke. They, it just kind of happened, and then people went, "Oh, their voices are lower now." Not like there wasn't a whole period of, "Hi guys, we're Max and Harvey." It wasn't well, like we, that for months. You, you videos from like three or four years ago, we uh, it it hurts me how high our voices were. I was <laughs> they, like, yeah, "Oh my they god, were very high." They were, oh. yeah. You guys obviously came from the busking scene. Um, so how did, you know, busking out in the streets, like, kind of help you in, in order to, like, know how to, like, 
do a show? Well, like how to, how to talk to your audience? Busking is actually probably the best thing to do because it helps you with, um, when you're busking, a lot of people don't understand this. The worst thing I figured out you can actually do is take a mic out with you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, okay, if you're not the loudest singer and it's a busy street and no one's gonna hear you, especially in London, we, we stayed away from London because of how loud it is, but your energy shines through and makes people intrigued mm -hmm. by the energy you put out. So we sung extremely loud when we were younger. Like we made sure we projected our voices. People looked over and went, oh my God, that's two little kids singing, okay, so harmonizing with each other. Control. Yeah, yeah, because like, so we, we sort of just like blasted our voices, but because we were so young, we never actually really lost them. We never lost our voices. And we had like five to 600 people watching us sometimes at a time when it was really there busy. Was, there was one time um, we literally, there was like um, this high street and we just, and this was before we were we like on social media. Street, and they, they had yeah. to bring police over to <laughs> control the back of the high street they and like they- they also stood by us. They they said that they were going to stand by us so that no one stole our money because wow. we actually at that time made quite a lot of money. <laughs> they were just like, we're going to stand here so no one runs off with it because we'd feel really bad. We were like, okay, fair enough. Um, so yeah, no, definitely the best thing to do when busking is to train your voice to project mm. and because that intrigues people the most. When they can hear your voice for what it is and they don't see a mic and a speaker, it's just kind of like there's no energy in it. There's no excitement and it's very generic to go out with a mic and people sort of go, nah, I'm gonna keep walking, get on with my day, yeah. I think, I think busking also massively helps us with our confidence, like on, on another level. I think just being able to literally stand out in the middle of a street and start yeah. singing, is a, it's, it's not the easiest thing, especially at a young age. Like we were just, when, I remember when we first started doing it, we were like really nervous. It was really um, hard to start. It yeah. was hard to start the first song. Like you kind of went, oh, what's the, like, cause people started looking over as soon as you start setting up and it's just really awkward, especially when you're first doing it. You just kind of went, uh, do I start now? Like how loud do I sing? Will I sound like an idiot if I just start? But we just went for it and it was fine after a couple of songs and we were very comfortable and we did it for like an hour to two hours yeah, whenever we, we did it. Yeah. It's a long time for, you know, starting out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we sung for a very long time. <laughs> Most of the time repeated quite a few we, songs. We would have a set You're starting to sound like the radio. Yeah. yeah. We'd have a set this for about 10 songs and then just loop it, <laughs> basically. We just People move on. They're not, they're not gonna yeah. stay for an hour. No yeah. one's gonna stand there. We're staying for an hour, but no one else is. Mm. So um, yeah, but it was cool. It was really cool to busk. And I'm sure now when you guys go on to these stages, like no matter how big or small these are, like it's just another day for you guys. It doesn't like, do the nerves still kick in? There's, it's rare. I think the one thing that we used to get quite nervous for actually was when we would on live TV because I think the thing that we get nervous about is not knowing how many people are watching. Yeah. I think when you can see everyone that can see you, that that makes us feel a lot more comfortable. I don't know why. That's interesting. And and because we used to be in musical theatre as well, so we would again perform in shows in front of two to three thousand people um, every, every night for like weeks. We were just used to it. So I think I think that that level is fine but then live tv like i said you can't see everyone so you right. don't and also if you mess up you can't like take it back you can't right. you can't recover because on stage people understand but on live tv people expect like there's, there's a perfection. much higher yeah mm -hmm. level of perfection that I've, is never, I've never thought of it that way where it's like you don't you don't know how many people are actually watching mm -hmm. well go ahead no i, I was just agreeing with <laughs> yeah. you don't worry i was literally just agreeing <laughs> with you